Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to show you how to get your first settlement in Bannerlord. Uh, so I'm going to pretty much show you one way, and also talk about the second way that you can do it. This is more for early game, by the way. Um, late game, there's more ways that you can take it. For example, uh, late game, if you reach uh, 300 trade, uh, you can also... Um, barter settlements you can buy settlements from other nobles but 300 trade takes forever to get and you will not get it early game but um here's the two ways to do to pretty much get it early game right so the first way that i'm going to show off and this one's a little bit more difficult is for you to just pretty much solo a castle and that's how you'll get your settlements and then you can start your own kingdom or whatever you want to do with it and the second way is to become a vassal and fight for a uh, kingdom and eventually, after a couple of sieges, eventually you will be voted to uh, take that fief. So that's a little bit more automated. You could just, you know, join as a vassal, join as much armies as you can, fight the battles, and eventually you will be given one. But this way, if you do not want to go through that process, this is how you do it solo. So uh, first things first, uh, select your location of where you want to actually do this. To select the location, my best advice to you is to run around and um, see kind of, you know, what do you really want to uh, have? Like what position do you want to have? Do you want to be all the way in the corner? Like you can go for this uh, cast all the way in the corner. But you also, in my opinion, the best thing for me is something that's very, very open. I chose this castle right over here because it's very, very open. And it's also on the edge of the, um, the person who I'm going to make my enemy in a second once I start attacking their castle. I do this because it's going to take them a long time to actually form an army and bring an army up to fight me, therefore give me enough time to actually secure the castle. So I think that's very, very important that you get that time because whenever you actually start besieging a castle, it does take time to actually set up the, you know, the siege equipment and then actually go in, which we're going to need. So again, find one that's very, very open. Again, maybe this isn't the best one because it's very in a corner, you know, you can't really run away anywhere. Uh, but like find something that's, um, this would be kind of a good uh, castle to actually take if you were going to take from the Vlandians. Because it's almost out the way of all the major towns. So it's going to take them a while to actually get down there. And also you can go either up or sideways or, you know, to the right. Which is pretty good location wise. Uh, next, once you find a location, you have to figure out how much defenders they have. As you can see, they um these guys right here have 149 defenders. I have 151 troops, and that is my max troops. So um, if you are this close, uh, essentially you want to find as little defenders as possible, right? So um, if a kingdom is doing kind of not that well, or if the castle has been recently attacked by somebody else, but they did not succeed, you'll see very, very low numbers, which you want to get as low as possible or kind of as even as possible as well, because we're going to take some of those numbers off when we build some siege equipment to siege the castle. So uh, now that you have your tar target, which this is my target, right? Um, what you want to do is uh, start, you know, the siege. You can't actually start the siege if you're not actually um, against uh, the kingdom yet. So let's start, you know, Let's start a war pretty much. Also, before we do start, just want to let you know, in this example, I'm going to make peace with the kingdom right after. Uh, I do this because, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, you're not going to survive. <laughs> if this, if you are just by yourself, solo, you might have, you know, I, I think I have a couple of parties roaming right now. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I have these two parties roaming right now, but as you can see, all together, we probably have what? About 300 troops, if we put it all, all of us together, a little bit more than 300 troops, which is nothing compared to uh, this kingdom, which um, probably is in the thousands, probably in the couple thousands, you know, of troops. So what you want to do is, once we take this real quick, make peace and be done with it, and there's your settlements. But it's going to cost you a lot. Uh, pretty sure, uh, I'll say probably about 100,000 you should probably have saved up. Probably a lot more as well if you're this far into the game, but um, you know, and you're ready to take your first summit. You should have your workshop set up, your caravan set up, all that stuff to make you good income. But uh, let's do it. Let's try it. Alrighty, take hostile action. Raid. Continue. Boom, we started a war. Go, 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 go. Now we gotta go quick. We gotta go to this castle right over here. 
Boom, besiege the castle. As you can see, we're now building the siege equipment. Hopefully he doesn't attack us. Again, there's a lot of luck to this too, so you might want to uh, kind of save and, you know, go back if something goes wrong. You know what I mean? Something of that nature. Because it's not always going to go right. But if you want to just take the risk, take the chance, uh, you could always, by the way, uh, run away uh, if they get too close and you don't want to do any, like, you know, other save stuff. Alrighty, you have a first contender coming up. Um, I'm going to actually build this and, yeah, this and that. Uh oh. Alright, so <laughs> we actually didn't get that far ahead, but as you can see, we do have the advantage here. We have better troops than these guys. We did not get caught yet. As you can see, I paused it right before. If this happens to you, you're going to have to lead this assault right away. Okay? Because you will not win this fight. As you can see, this is a lot more troops than we have. So, lead this assault. If you do have the time, though, and you do not see these troops, which is something I did want to show off. You can either build um, catapults to actually get rid of some of these numbers, but what I suggest to build first is a ram and um, what do you call these right over here? The siege towers. Because these will help you actually get, um, it will help you pretty much get into the castle uh, more safer than, you know, the uh, ladders that are set up that you have to actually put up. But regardless, we're pinned down. Let's do it. Let's lead the assault. Misinformations. I like all my formations. All right, go. Hold on, just one second. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Let's do it! Should have gotten a shield for this, but it is what it is. We are going to lose a couple. It's alright, it's alright. Let's get close to it. Take some of these out. Let's get over. Go, go, go. Block, 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 go! Attack! And by the way, in this one, you're gonna have to do a little bit of work. Because obviously, you know, you're evened up, so you're gonna have to get the majority of kills. So make sure you have a pretty good weapon for it. But again, most of these castles, they have a lot of militia and a lot of low level men. So if you have a lot of high level troops, you should be fine. Try not to die, too. Because your troops will just get significantly worse once you die for some reason. Just how it always works in Banalor. There we go. We are runners. Yeah, 
There we go, baby. Uh oh. This guy keeps moving. Ah. Oh, they're all running away. Easy. Is that a guy right there? Bro, what is this guy doing? Oh, never mind. All right. Woo Alright, so now we won. Look at that. Look at that. Let's get some troops. Got some sword sisters. Sensational. Let's get the prisoners too. Let's get all of this. And we're going to literally use a lot of this stuff to actually make peace. Alrighty, now what do we want to do? Do you want to devastate it? Pillage or do you want to show mercy? Let's pillage. Let's get a little bit. Alright, now as you can see we have our... Da da da! We have our castle, and now let's go make peace real quick. So actually, uh, yeah, let's go make peace real quick. So boom. Who are you? How you doing? Um, just you know, a new guy on the block. It is what it is. Stay your hands. Don't have to do it. Let's make peace. We are only mercenaries under the. We can't negotiate peace on behalf of our employees. Well, that sucks. I want to negotiate peace, man. All right, so let's do this. Let's try to get away. We're going to lose some troops. It is what it is. But I do want to... Um... Yeah, I want to talk to somebody who's not... So he's Legion. You need to talk to uh, Varos right there. You need to talk to Varos. Varos is our man. All right. Actually, we could talk to... Apos. Yeah, he's also our man. How you doing? All right. Uh, something I'd like to discuss. Aram should make peace. Boom! Only fifty-six thousand. <laughs> Easy. There we go. Very cheap. And as you can see right now, would you look at that? We have our own settlements, and we've made peace. So now we're good. We lost our daring traits. It is what it is. You move on. Life is life. And there you go. That's how you get a castle. And um, again, in terms of the second way you can get a castle. Uh, you join as a vassal for somebody, uh, for any of the uh, kingdoms. You have to be clan tier 2 for that. You're going to fight a lot of battles. You're going to fight a lot of, um, you know, a lot of wars. You're going to siege a lot of places. And eventually, uh, one of the places you siege, they will be given to you. So it's kind of more, you know, not really under your control. But this is under your control. And again, also, another way you can get fiefs. Uh, it, what's it called? In the game. Let's talk to him again. If you get to 300 trade, which is a takes a very long time. That's why I'm kind of showing you this at the end because it's kind of, you know. Really depends if you want to go down that route. You got something there's to discuss. Proposal for both of us. Oh, we already bartered with him. Let's go to somebody else. Let's go to you. Let's see if you have something for me. Well, That's close enough. Yes, sir. Do you have something for me? No, you do not. You do not own anything. All right. Well, this is getting kind of crazy. Um, who else might have something? Let's talk to you. I'm trying to talk to somebody who owns actual property. If you please. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm getting annoyed with all you broke boys. All right, listen. Uh, how long until I can talk to you again? Nope. Okay, I'm just trying to quickly show it off. He doesn't really have anything. He doesn't look like he owns much. Anybody, just I need any big boy. Come on, let me talk to you real quick. Ah, you look like you own something. Forgive me. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is what it is. Something I like to discuss. Proposal for both of us. Boom! He owns something. All right, I want this castle of yours. How much do you want? How much do you want? Oh my goodness, is that 2.5 million sold, bro? Appreciate it. And as you can see, now we own his castle as well. Where is it at? There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Just like that. So those are pretty much the ways you can get your first settlements and, uh, you know, start your own kingdom or whatever you want to do with it.
Alrighty, I'll see you guys in the next one.